welcome to e-learn with vijayagiri this is algebra part 5 and in this part we are going to discuss about laws of indices when you multiply index expression with the same base you can add the powers x to the power m into x to the power n will be equal to x to the power m plus n let's see why this law x to the power 3 into x to the power 2 we know x to the power 3 means x is getting multiplied by itself 3 times and x to the power 2 means 2 times so overall x is getting multiplied by itself 5 times so answer will be x to the power 5 now x to the power 3 into x to the power 2 we can write it as x to the power 3 plus 2 using the laws of indices and that answer also will be x to the power 5 so both way we are getting the same answer but the laws of indices will make the simplification little more easy let's see some example x to the power 6 into x to the power 2 first thing what you have to see is whether it is with the same base or not here it is with the same base so you can use the law of indices and x to the power 6 into x to the power 2 can be written as x to the power 6 plus 2 and 6 plus 2 is 8 so we can simplify it as x to the power 8 a to the power 3 into b to the power 2 here clearly you can see that bases are not same so it is not possible to simplify using indices law 2x square into 3x to the power 3 here number and index expressions are coming together so we had to expand it separately 2 into 3 into x square into x to the power 3 2 into 3 is 6 and x square into x to the power 3 we can write as x to the power 2 plus 3 using the law of indices and it will be simplified as 6x to the power 5 3x square y to the power 6 into 4x cube y to the power 3 here also we have to expand it separately 3 into 4 into x square into x cube into y to the power 6 into y to the power 3 and 3 into 4 will be 12 x to the power 2 into x to the power 3 we can write as x to the power 2 plus 3 and y to the power 6 into y to the power 3 we can write as y to the power 6 plus 3 and it will be simplified as 12 x to the power 5 y to the power 9 next law when you divide index expression with the same base you can subtract the powers x to the power m divided by x to the power n will be equal to x to the power m minus n let's check some example x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 2 here it is with same base so we can use the law of indices and it can be written as x to the power 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 is 3 so it can be simplified as x to the power 3 x to the power 3 divided by y to the power 2 here clearly you can see that bases are not same so it is not possible to simplify using indices law a to the power 4 by a to the power 2 it is in fra uh, fraction format but still it is division so you can use that law a to the power 4 minus 2 and it will be equal to a to the power 2 8x to the power 9 divided by 2x to the power 5 here number and index expressions are coming together so we have to do the calculation separately 8 divided by 2 into x to the power 9 divided by x to the power 5 8 8 2 will be 4 and x to the power 9 divided by x to the power 5 we can write it as x to the power 9 minus 5 and it can be simplified as 4x to the power 4 10y to the power 4 by 5y to the power 3 here number and index expressions are coming together and it is in fraction format so first we can reduce the numbers in 5 and 10 there is a common number 5 so we can reduce using 5 5 in 5 one time and 5 in 10 two time and y to the power 4 by y to the power 3 we can write it as y to the power 4 minus 3 so it can be written as 2 y to the power 4 minus 3 by 
and it can be simplified as 2 y to the power 1. Now I need to write the denominator 1 because if you are dividing with 1 value will not change. And 2 y to the power 1 simply we can write as 2 y. 20 x to the power 6 y to the power 3 by 6 x cube y. Here also first we can reduce the numbers 6 and 20 there is a common number 2. So with the 2 we can reduce 2 in 6 3 times and 2 in 20 10 times. So it can be written as 10 x to the power 6 minus 3 and y to the power 3 minus 1 by 3. You can see from the question the denominator 6 x cube y in y there is no power but no power is the means it will be 1. That why we are taking the power as 1. And this can be simplified as 10 x to the power 3 y to the power 2 by 3. 2 x square into 3 x to the power 4 by 6 x cube. In this question multiplication and division are coming together so we have to use both law. In numerator there are two terms 2x square and 3x to the power 4 and in denominator 6x cube only. So first we have to expand the numerator and simplify. So 2 into 3 into x square into x to the power 4 by 6x cube. 2 into 3 can be written as 6 and x square into x to the power 4 can be simplified as x to the power 2 plus 4. Then this can be simplified as 6 into x to the power 6 by 6 x cube. And numerator and denominator there is a number 6. So we can reduce it using 6 itself. So 6 in 6 one time and 6 in 6 one time. No need to write that one just cancelling the numbers also ok. Now this can be written as 1 into x to the power 6 minus 3 by 1 and it can be simplified as 1 into x cube by 1 and multiplication by 1 and division by 1 value will not change so we can write it as x to the power 3. Next law any value to the power 0 equals to 1, x to the power 0 equal 1. Let us see how it coming. 2 to the power 2 divided by 2 to the power 2 with the division law we can write it as 2 to the power 2 minus 2 and it will be equal to 2 to the power 0. And one more way we can do this calculation, 2 to the power 2 we know it is 4, so 4 by 4, 4 by 4 it will be equal to 1. Here question was same so answers also must be same so 2 to the power 0 must be equal to 1. Whatever number you are using every time you will get the same conclusion so we can generalize it as x to the power 0 equal 1. Let us see some example. 10 x to the power 7 divided by 5 x to the power 7. It can be written as 10 divided by 5 into x to the power 7 divided by x to the power 7 and 10 divided by 5 it will be 2. x to the power 7 divided by x to the power 7 we can write as x to the power 7 minus 7. And it will be equal to 2 x to the power 0. And now we know x to the power 0 is 1 so we can substitute 2 into 1 and 2 into 1 will be equal to 2. Next example, 5 x to the power 6 into 4 x to the power 4 divided by 8 x to the power 10. Here all the three laws are coming together. In numerator, 5 x to the power 6 into 4 x to the power 4 is there, so we had to expand it and simplify. So 5 times 4 into x to the power 6 into x to the power 4 and it can be written as 20 x to the power 6 plus 4 by 8x to the power 10 and it can be simplified as 20x to the power 10 divided by 8x to the power 10. Here numerator and denominator there are numbers 20 and 8 so we can reduce it using 4. In 8 4 will go 2 times and in 24 will go 5 times 
So we can write it as 5 x to the power 10 minus 10 by 2. x to the power 10 by x to the power 10 we can write as x to the power 10 minus 10. So it will be equal to 5 x to the power 0 by 2 and we know the value of x to the power 0 is 1 so we can write it as 5 into 1 by 2 and the answer will be 5 by 2. That's all for now. Hope you understood these three laws. There are some more laws. It will be continuing in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel and press bell icon for getting notifications.